Hello everyone, it's Chris Pritt back again with a new topic in West Virginia Divorce. Today we're going to be talking about preparing your spousal support budget. Okay, This applies whether you might be potentially paying spousal support or if you're someone who expects that you might receive some sort of spousal support or that if you think you're going to be needing it going into the future. So what you do is you start with all of the expenses that you have what going into the future. So let's say we're talking about a mortgage payment or rent, car payment, car repairs. We are talking about the cost of electric, all of your utility bills, how much you're going to need for food, how much you might need for a reasonable amount of a ter- of uh, entertainment. What you what you'll do is you'll tally all those things up and that's going to be your your budget whether you're paying or whether you're going to be receiving some sort of potentially some spousal support. So it's important that you take a look at that and you you come up with a number that is going to be considered reasonable. For the most part, what the courts will do is they will allow you to receive some sort of reasonable budget uh, going into the future for the most part. Now, I mean, every now and then you'll see some judges who might give you more than that, but sometimes um, that's not the case. So what you'll do is you need to use that as a starting point for trying to figure out how much you're going to need going into the future. Now what that'll be based on is whether it's going to be, uh, for example, rehabilitative or it's going to be permanent. Now longer marriages are more likely to be considered to be candidates for um, uh, permanent alimony. If you have a marriage that is of short duration, uh, then that is more likely to be in the camp of rehabilitative alimony. Now, one of the things that's very, very critical is that the two of you have a huge income disparity in my book. That's really going to increase your odds of getting the alimony. So you need to be thinking about, okay, what is my seem to be former spouse likely to be bringing in going into the future? What am I going to be likely bringing in as far as income? What is his or her budget? What is my budget? And then what you do is uh, you, you, you break it down as to how much you think you're going to be uh, needing going into the future. So just every conceivable expense you think you might have going into the future. Like, for example, something that you might not think of, such as clothing, um, some car repairs, house repairs. All of those things are things that you are going to need to be thinking about for developing a budget. And uh, it's just something you need to be thinking about. Uh, once you get ready for filing for divorce, whether you're going to be paying spousal support or whether you think you're going to need it going into the future. So that consists of today's video. If you have any questions at all, feel free to give us a call or uh, send me an email. Have a good day.